Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at some angle vocabulary so that we can begin to use the relationships between angles to solve for unknown variables. So let's go ahead and get started. Behind me you should see two angles. One is 60 degrees and the other is 120 degrees. A degree is simply how we measure an angle. It's how far one leg is from the other leg. Any angle that is less than 90 degrees we consider to be an acute angle. Okay. You might notice it has the word cute in there. Um, some people like to remember acute angles as being little because little things are always cute. On the other hand, when we have an 120 degree angle, because that is larger than 90 degrees, we call this an obtuse angle. Okay, so we have acute angles, anything less than 90, obtuse is anything larger than 90. So this might make you wonder what happens if my angle is exactly 90 degrees. Well, if it's exactly 90 degrees, you're going to see it drawn kind of like this. It's probably going to have a little marking in the bottom that usually looks like a square. You might have some arrows on there. This is what we call a right angle when it's exactly 90 degrees. Of course, this leads us to the classic joke that if you're cold, you should go stand in the corner because it's always 90 degrees. All right, we have four angle relationships for you today. The first one is supplementary angles and supplementary angles simply are two angles that add to 180 degrees. And the key thing to look for is this straight line because straight lines are 180 degrees. So in this example, we have a 60 degree angle and a 120 degree angle, and that adds up to our total of 180. Our second angle relationship is a complementary angle. Complementary angles add to 90 degrees. So here you'll see we have this marking here, that square we talked about for a right angle, telling us that the entire angle here equals 90 degrees. And then we see that we have two separate angles. So we have a 30 degree angle right here. And then we also have a 60 degree angle. And when I add those together, they add up to 90 degrees. All right, our third angle relationship for today is the adjacent angle. And actually our previous two ones, the complementary and the supplementary angles were also both examples of adjacent angles. Adjacent just means that these two angles are side by side. So they are sharing one leg right here. Okay, so we have angle A, angle B. We don't know the measures in this case, but since they're side by side, we consider those to be adjacent angles. And our final angle relationship for today are our vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles that share a vertex in the middle, but they're across from each other. So they're not adjacent, they don't share a leg, um, but they are really cool because they're actually the exact same measure. So if I told you that angle B over here was equal to 45 degrees, well, if these two angles, angle A and angle B are vertical angles and angle B is 45 degrees, that means that angle A is also 45 degrees. So that's gonna be really key coming up when we start using our angle relationships to solve for unknown variables.